What up, Heart Squad? I'm here at Walmart. They got some Black Friday deals on Pokemon cards, and today we're gonna go inside and find out what they are. Usually, all the Pokemon cards and Magic cards are now behind the counter. Usually for Black Friday deals, they should be somewhere in the middle of the aisle and marked off. However, I don't see any, especially this is a smaller Walmart, but we're at the toy section now and we're gonna take a look. So I'm checking out the toy section right now and this is usually where the cards are. And would you look at that? This is one of the Urshifu boxes that I was just talking about. So I found one of the Urshifu boxes, luckily, but they should be in one little box that area in the middle of an aisle, and I have not seen that yet, but I'm coming up into another toy section, so let's check it out. And what do you know? Bingo. We have just found the mother load. So these aren't in a specific like aisle. They're not in a Black Friday, like one of those types of things in the middle of an aisle. We have just found all of the Urshifu VMAX boxes. And like you're seeing right here, they're only $20 each. I'm just gonna get one of each just so we can showcase what's on the inside of each of these because these are new products that Pokemon's releasing just for this specific Black Friday occasion. And we have found some, we have found some. Got my two boxes. There are a bunch left. I always urge people to leave some for others, especially with a great deal like this. Let's go. So that was a mission accomplished in one Walmart. We were able to find the Urshifu VMAXs and uh, I just got one of each and they were $20 as you saw. Uh, let's go open them now. And we're back in the studio and we are opening up these, the Urshifu VMAX boxes. And to my surprise, these things are loaded with lots of booster packs and so, we're gonna begin with the Rapid Strike Urshifu box, which would be my personal preference, not just because it's blue and that's my favorite color, but because that is the type that I would use if I were to be battling. So, as I begin to open up this box, you will also see I am wearing the iconic, very original Leonhardt shirt. I'm bringing that up because that was the first shirt that I wore when I actually had different types of merch, and more specifically because today is a special day. Today is the seventh birthday of this channel, of the Leonhart brand overall. Back in 2014, I began the channel, and it has been quite a ride, but more on that to come. So yes, you can say happy birthday in the comments. Thank you so much. All right, there's a lot of packs in this. Uh, all of this was only $20, as you saw. So here is a code. Good luck to whoever gets that. Let's check out all of the packs. So we have a Battle Styles, my personal favorite, Vivid Voltage, Darkness Ablaze, Darkness Ablaze, lo lots of Battle Styles, another Vivid Voltage, thankfully, and a Darkness Ablaze. So no chilling rain or evolving skies. But that's okay with these sets. Usually they really just uh, make these to get rid of excess products because they had the Jirachi GX box last year at this time. And these Black Friday deals at Walmart are, you know, early Black Friday deals because that's what they wanted to do now. So here is the Rapid Strike Energy, Rapid Strike Urshifu V, and there is the VMAX version of it. So, you're getting these pretty much not for the Urshifus. You want the actual packs this time. So, on that note, let us open these packs and we will open up the next single strike box. But this is Vivid Voltage, my friends, or at least this specific pack. We are needing three cards, including the Hyper Rare Rainbow Chunkachu. I've still not pulled it and it's been over a year since I've been trying. Uh, so let's see if we can do it. Guess the energy, Psychic. Oh, very nice. Is this a sign? Pat's on back. I also need the uh, Pikachu V Full Art, the one with the pink and purple background. And of course, my card, the Hyper Rare Leon. 
I have not pulled any of the three, and it's been over a year. Rockruff, Whismer, Jirachi! Very nice, amazing rare, and Talonflame V! So a little perfect pack right there. That is probably the best amazing rare in the set, so very nice that we have pulled those. Now let's get into Darkness Ablaze. Basically, there's some nice cards in the set, but we're basically just wanting Leaf Energy. We're basically just wanting that Charizard. So let's see what we can do in this specific set and get to the next sets. Lots of these sets as we get a Milotic Holographic, not bad. I Like Battle Styles here, I have not even pulled the alternate Art Urshifus. This would be an appropriate opening to get those from it. Fighting Energy. Um, but back to uh, the seventh birthday of the channel. November 2014 is when I started this channel. I actually started this account, Lean Art account, back in 2006 when like Gmail just came out like in 05 or something. <laughs> I don't even know. Uh, but that was a long time ago. And I've been doing this for a long time. This channel was actually, as I posted the video, I think it started in 2010 was when I really did, I think my name was Leaf Energy Pokemon Collector or something. I know, very original. And I did a react video to that video on this channel. So you should go watch that if you have not. The reaction video to my first video from like 2010 or 11. Empoleon V, very nice. Um, however, the Leonhart Leonhart name and channel officially started November 2014. So that is what I consider the true start date. Or I guess the officials i don't know i don't know fire energy so on that note it's been seven years and i have still yet to take a break it's something that maybe in the future there's just so much stuff going on right now that is just fun stuff exciting stuff and uh it's just so crazy to see lightning energy the journey that we have taken to get to where we are right now you know i originally started this channel on the top of my chest of drawers at my apartment as we get a dark rye hollow and just to see where we have come now as we get into i want to save this for last uh as we you know now we have this studio and i'm already in the works of a new secret new studio yeah uh but that's next year um Metal energy. So it's just, I wanna also just make sure I keep on creating fun videos that I enjoy myself or it's not fun. And of course, what y'all enjoy too. So, but uh, it's it, it's really been such a crazy fun experience uh, interacting with the community over the years, the, the conventions, the stuff we've done for charity has just been, uh, lightning energy has just been at this point uh, over a million dollars raised for charity, you know, between Toys for Tots, Children's Hospital, all my stuff I do for mental health awareness. It really has been such a, I don't know, I keep on saying that, but it really has been. Here are all of the codes. Good luck to that. As we get into the next box from Walmart, Black Friday deal, Urshifu, Single Strike. It's just been, you know, it's been a humbling experience. And I like, and you know, I say I started in 2014. I was inspired by other tubers like Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, Primetime Pokemon. And it's just, it's just, uh, the landscape's different of how content is made and stuff. There's lots of amazing new creators, fun creators, not just in Pokemon, just in general. It's just exploded in all the different types of niches. I'm assuming all the packs are gonna be the same, but we'll open those shortly. The friends that I've made along the way, the memories that we've made together. It's just fun and I wanna keep on making sure that it stays fun. And we got lots of surprises and fun stuff still coming up on the channel. Crazy things that we will all be doing. So I'm gonna get through these packs and then I do have some Fusion Strike packs in a box actually that I'm gonna get into. We will open up said box to see if we can get some more of those chase cards that we've been wanting. All right, I don't even know what set this is. This is uh, Battle Styles Fighting Energy. Very nice, Pat's on back and the guess the energy and for Halloween, I wore my Ash Ketchum hat that I used to wear in all of my videos back when I had a janitor's closet in an office that I was recording videos in because it was too loud at my, you know, where I live. Um, 
but I only had that for like a year or something because then it was too loud at the office space at where I was at. Lots of memories, water energy, and fun times here at Leonhardt. Um, I don't even know what I want to say. Like, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, it's... As we get an Orbital VMAX from a Vivid Voltage Pack. I, 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 I say thank you, but I really do mean that. I don't know. Like, I try to take time to respond to y'all on all the social medias, even though having over 1.5 million subscribers, it's me responding when I do. Lightning Energy, that being said, there is over 1.5 million, so I apologize to let it know that it's not like something personal. It's not like I see your email and not respond or anything. It's just I get like hundreds and hundreds a day, thousands and thousands a week. I do my best, but it's just me. I am working to get help on that. Um, but, you know. It is what it is. Water energy. I just, I can't wait for, I still can't wait for the future. Like, you know, what's the saying, the phrase, you don't work a day in your life if you're having fun or something like that. Tyranitar, are very nice. And I'm having fun. I've had fun. It doesn't mean it's not stressful. There are many things that have been stressful part of the channel. I don't deal with drama or anything. So it's just me having fun, grown man, opening up Pokemon cards, uh, lightning energy, and... Uh, always trying to come up with fun and creative content that is not necessarily going with the trends or anything. Sometimes I will if it's something that I just want to try because I think it'll be fun. But most of the time it's just me trying to just do stuff that I just want to do and have fun. That's not always the best for like algorithm wise. Uh, and as any type of creator out there knows that, water energy is especially with the algorithm's really, really futuring stuff like when it comes to trends and whatever. And uh, I'm not saying I'm not guilty of that. I think I did like a Squid Game video recently, but that was because I loved the show and I really wanted to try the little cookie cutter thing. So I did a video on the channel to search for like, uh, every time I lose, I open up a thousand dollar base set pack or whatever it was, Squid Game challenge thing. Um, and that was fun because I did lose a lot in that video and opened up like three base set packs and we did pull a holographic in one, Leaf Energy, so that was a lot of fun. But always just trying to keep up the creativity with the channel. I do post, uh, what's it called? Videos four days a week, everybody. You know that though, you know that. Thursday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday at one central. I will be live streaming more often. We did do our first live stream a couple weeks ago. It was a lot of fun over 11,000 people were watching that thing at one time. Uh, psychic energy. So I hope to continue the fun. Hope to continue the interactivity between myself and y'all, the heart squad. Whismer, wait, is this vivid voltage? Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay, so Christmas tree. Hey, it's a holographic. Those are the boxes. I'd love to know for the lean heart trademark. No, it's not trademark. The lean heart just question of the day. I just would like to know as I get into this fusion strike booster box, do you think those deals were good? Do you think those Black Friday deals at Walmart for Pokemon cards were good for those boxes, $20 each? I definitely think they were. There's gonna be more. I have another Black Friday video coming out probably this weekend where I'm gonna be telling you exclusive places to get deals that you can get. So definitely be sure to subscribe to the channel. And of course, leave a like for this channel hitting Seven, seven years of opening up cardboard. Well, that's interesting. These packs look different than the usual packs. They almost look like fake. Wait, where's the Mew? Okay, there we go. I don't know, I guess that's just how it is. Like, they look so shiny. But in any case, this is Fusion Strike. Fusion Strike, ladies and gentlemen. Lots of cards to pull for this specific set, like all of those alt art Mew cards. The Breakdancing Genesect, we have pulled the Gengar, which is the best card from the set, so I'm very happy about that. There's a couple gold cards like the Falafi, the Secret Rare Energy, we've already pulled the Fire one, and of course, lots of amazing cards in the biggest set of Pokemon history, uh, Leaf Energy. So we are now beginning some Fusion Strike packs. I probably won't get through the entire box, we'll just see how it goes. The pull rates for Fusion Strike are very, very difficult. Like, for it being the biggest set of all time, it's truly gonna take a lot, Leaf Energy, to complete this entire set. Like, there's so many sets I still have not even pulled, like, some of my favorite cards from those sets. Team Up, yes. Dare I say it, Team Up, from how many years ago? 
I still have not pulled Sabrina, my favorite gym leader of all time. I know, I'm loco. Fire energy. So it's like, Vivid Voltage is of course the one that's just like, I need to pull that rainbow Pikachu because it's Pikachu and because it's Leon, which is me, the card they based off the whole character on, Leonhart. So I'll be, I'll be sticking with that one for sure. The other one, there's like a uh, fighting energy. Very nice, pants on back. There's the hyper rare Rayquaza from Celestial Storm I've still have not pulled. That one is difficult to pull, don't get me wrong. So it's not surprising that I have not pulled it. Tynamo in a B-Free Butterfree. So our first catch of the day is a bug, a Butterfree. Let's continue. And that's just scratching the top of the barrel, water energy of cards I have not pulled from different sets throughout the years. Uh, and then of course there's like the Unbroken Bonds Charizard and the Burning Shadows Charizard. Burning Shadows one took me like a year and a half. And granted, I'm not doing massive openings whenever I do these. That's why it's taking me that long. Fighting energy. I'm not opening up like thousands of packs or anything like that in a single sitting or anything like that. So I'm not going to pull it. It's going to take a while, especially there's more difficult cards to pull. Um, but that's also what makes it, to me, a lot more fun. Uh, just because, you know, you want to pull it and you want to get it. It's not as exciting if you just, you know, open up a ton of packs, leaf energy, and then you get it in like the first go. But that being said, opening up that many packs has got to be tiring too. It's a good workout on the arms. Meowth, Meryl, Lanoon, Grimmsnarl. One thing that is ever present in a Fusion Strike box are lots and lots of holographic cards. Dark energy. Lots of hollows. If you want hollows, there's gonna be some in the booster box. Rotom, Smeargle, Carvana, na na na, Slugma on Mustafar, and a Galarian Corsola. Of course, the game's brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl are coming out soon. Uh, love to know your thoughts on that. Fire Energy. I probably won't be doing a playthrough on it. Usually when I... I don't have time to play games, even when I do. Uh, I prefer it kind of like as an escape from just doing, you know, card openings and such. Not that I want to escape card openings. You know what I mean, though. Like, you just need that downtime, and I think it's gonna be fun, just uh, whatever I decide to play. I don't know exactly. Lightning energy. Uh, but I'm really looking forward to Legends Arceus, just because if that does well, I think that's really gonna set a precedent for how games are gonna be as we get a Pikachu V. We've pulled that before. And that's what you want it, you know, you want it to do well. Uh, but that being said, I'm sure there's going to be lots of different types of criticism, water energy, for whatever types of games and such come out. Snom, Dreepy, Makuhita, Electrode, Araquanid. Next up, Michael Bolton. So we have still not pulled a big, big card yet, water energy. I mean, it's a booster box. Uh, so long are the days of basically almost guaranteeing that you're gonna get a certain amount, like a hyper rare, a secret rare, some full art, some V maxes. Gone are those days. Now it's like you're happy if you can escape a booster box opening with your live fighting energy, or just pulling at least one or two really good cards. There's SpongeBob SquarePants hands, Phantom of the Opera, more Graham, and a Zara Aura. Well, I am trying to get through. A decent amount of these just so we can see water energy if we can get one of those you know those chase cards that i was saying before there are some absolutely beautiful cards in this set and i know with brilliant stars having been announced a couple weeks ago people are kind of already looking forward to that set which that set's still not coming out for a while so like hold your horses fighting energy because there are really lots of surprises and great stuff in fusion strike like a Dodrio, which I've already pulled and all the cards just spilled. Um, still, I'm looking out for. Come on, Altar. Genesec Breakdancing. Fighting Energy. Come on, Metapod. No. Zigzagoon, Mankey, Clauncher, and Melmetal. Well, there we go. There's another holographic. So for Gengar, we've. I'm sure there's another Gengar in the set that I haven't pulled, but I feel like we've pulled like all of them. Lightning Energy, uh, as a Fighting Energy presents itself. Wiggly on the tough. Skitty, Phalanx, Choodle, Vallaby, Gliscor, and another, jeez. Out of all the full arts in the set, they just keep on throwing 
Michael Bolton V at us. We have pulled that more than any other one so far. Metal Energy. So it's like spread the wealth. There's lots of other incredible cards that are in this set. And there's lots of uh, this not getting in focus as we get a Blissey. All right. We are not doing too well with pulls, but that's okay. Water Energy. Let's see as I, I'm, I'm Shauna of the Dead. There looks like there is something at the very back of this pack. What can it be? A Gengar VMAX. We've pulled this one before. It is very cool. Like, I will give it that. But it is a, another one that we have pulled as we are fast approaching what I think is already at this point been half of a booster box. Uh, water energy. Very nice patch on back. Um, but I do say, I want to say once again, thank you so much for being part of the Heart Squad, for being part of this amazing community of over 1.5 million subscribers on our seventh birthday of the Lean Heart channel and the Lean Heart brand overall. I will always be here for y'all, for the community, fighting energy until I retire. No, I'm just kidding. That's a long time away, of course. But I'm having fun just being genuinely who I am, and that's a man child who loves to open up Pokemon cards and shiny cardboard, but also giving stuff to y'all a lot, lightning energy, as far as all that shiny cardboard. Bug Catcher, Mudkip, and many more to come. Kufant, Imp, Snom, Deoxys, and a Rillaboom. Wow, did not know Rillaboom was in the set, so a Rillaboom Ultra Rare. Um, we have some more packs. It's like, I feel like we could technically just get through all of these packs, or at least water energy. At least let's try to uh, get a really, really good card. Like, we've gotten the Gengar VMAX, which is nice. They're, the Michael Bolton V is nothing impressive. Like, I'm not gonna, like, go, you know, to a bar and be like, Hey, everybody, look at my Bolton water energy. But y'all can do that. Okay, uh, maybe the Spongebob. I think that would be a good card. Va na 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 na. That would be a good, uh, uh, I forgot the word, an introduction to meeting people. It's the Spongebob card. They definitely wouldn't look at you funny. Fire energy. All right. Okay, now for this one. Okay, there is something shiny at the end of this. Is it a hyper? Is it a hyper? No, it's a dancer. If you want to be my lover. Ma, 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 ma. In sync, even though it's a girl. Dancer! She's like background dancer. That's really cool. All right, so we have not pulled Dancer yet. Very, very happy about that. My gosh. How long did it take for us to finally, actually, water energy pull like a decent card? We've pulled Sydney, whoever that is. I did not pull, I did not play the, uh, what's it called? The X extensions or whatever the dlc for pokemon sword and shield i did obviously play pokemon sword and shield fire energy i just didn't have the time all right let's see what we can do we have gotten the hyper rare schoolboy and all that other jazz and dd nether holographic i guess at this point i'll just fast track it no i mean i'll still show every single card but you know what i mean we gotta pull something good now i'm just curious water energy now I'm just curious. Is this going to continue the absolutely dreadful pull rates of showcasing what Fusion Strike has? Unless we get an alt art or, you know, something like that. Which, Lightning Energy. Uh, there's lots of cards in this set, as I've said before. So it's only a matter of time. Rotom, another Mel Metal holographic card. Uh, we've only pulled, I guess, the Gengar, VMAX, and Dancer. And the, the, I guess the full art Michael Bolton V, Fighting Energy. Those would be the only good cards that we have pulled, if you want to say that. Um, but this being a booster box, I really am, with these final packs said yonder, I really am expecting something good. So let's see. Water Energy. Are you not... Oh, hey, very nice. Pat's on back. Are you also just not, like, intrigued to see, like, what's going on with these pool rates in general? Drillbur, Shanks, and Cinderace V. All right, so that's one we have not pulled yet, but I will take it. Four cards, Fighting Energy. But it's just a regular Ultra Rare, so 
I'm not sure if Shauna of the Dead has a full art in this. I think they may. Electrode. We have four Fusion Strike packs remaining. Otherwise, Lightning Energy, that will be it after this. We got Judge Dread, Trevenant, Toda, Klaba, Snorlax, Bacon. There we go. Three packs remaining of this Fusion Strike booster box. Metal Energy. I was almost going to say Water Energy, but then I was like, nah, I need to change it up. Eevee, Shinx, Quick Ball, Gudra. Two packs remaining. I'm going to say Psychic Energy for the Guess the Energy and go with this. We have one more pack after this. Wow. This is literally the only card that we have pulled from this entire box. And if there's nothing in this, wow, what has happened, my dear pull rates of Pokemon card boxes. Uh, psychic Energy for the Guess the Energy. Very nice. Pat's on back. We did fairly well with the Guess the Energy, but can we get a little last pack? If not, thank you for joining me today as we get a Deoxys. It's a hollow. Seventh birthday today. Happy birthday. Yay. Lots of pets on backs. You want more videos? Click on those right now. My name is Leonard. Stay awesome. Stay positive. And as always, I will see y'all in the next video.